What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a follow along six minute hit workout that is going to blast calories from your body. And Hi Vince. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell right here. Share my videos, motherfuckers. Thank you very much. That was Vince from V Shreds. <sighs> I thought it was over. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, those of you that knew the channel uh, a little about a year ago, I guess, I kind of exposed this young man and his crew uh, for completely ripping off and copying uh, videos from Athlean X. On the contrary, if I go out far further away, the line of resistance is now on an angle. What most people would say then is to take a little bit of a step back. So what happens when you take a little bit of a step back? My forearms are almost parallel to the line of resistance. It's not hard to initiate the movement from here. But when I get to the bottom, you can see that my forearm is now perpendicular again to the line of resistance, meaning there's a lot more effort being done by the triceps in this position. Well, at the bottom, your triceps are a little more perpendicular to the cable so that you're, they're getting worked at the bottom. But then what happens is you go up and you wanna go up to 90 degrees, and 90 degrees right here, I'm resting again. So you can either step forward and you can get a good, you can get a good burn at the top and then at the bottom you kind of are resting a little bit or you can step back and you can get a good squeeze at the bottom but then at the top you're resting a little bit. Now I can already imagine what the army of 13 year old V-Shreds fans are gonna say when they're coming over here and you're being all pissed at me and everything like that. Like, no, oh, it's a similar concept and isn't Vince pretty? And uh, I love his hair. And so after myself and many other people made some videos clearly pointing out that he's, uh, he was copying Athlean X work, um, the human embodiment of the thought concept of if you look good and look like you work out, people will think you know what the fuck you're doing, even though you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Uh, and the rest of the boy band crew known as V Shreds decided to try to make some of their own exercises, some of their own work. First, they tried to uh, you know talk about just normal exercises. Uh, Vince even uh, made something about the deadlift. Talking about the Romanian deadlift, that is just when you see people stepping up to the bar, they have their feet about shoulder width apart, feet slightly pointed outwards, and they grab this bar just outside of their shins, and they pull this straight up their legs, they drive their hips forward, lock out their glutes, while keeping the shoulders rolled back, and they return drive, let their hips back go backwards, and they drop that down to the ground. Now, God, you're a dumbass. In which he pointed out he knows so fucking little about working out that he thought a regular deadlift was a Romanian deadlift. Um, and then he, uh, he decided to make up some of his own exercises, which were so bad that Athlean X himself made some videos on it. Just keep copying what I do. I'm going to grab a cable here. And the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you are perpendicular to the cable because what I messed up before was being parallel. I watched enough of Jeff's videos. I know how to copy what he does. I know how to make my own stuff up. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make it better because I watched your video and I understand that it has to be perpendicular. So I can do that. Jeff, watch. I, I learned how to spell perpendicular and I know what it means. What you actually want to do, and this is a, something that's very simple to fix, just stand out to the side and make sure that this is going to be completely at a 90 degree angle, the cable to your arms at a 90 degree angle, and then your arm is going to be just out to the side of your body. So right here, because this weight is pulling back on my arm, I'm immediately going to be working my chest to keep it in this spot. This is also known as an isometric contraction. So what we're gonna do from here is instead of actually bringing this up in front of you, because when you go right here, you're gonna lose all your tension because it is parallel. And I obviously, as you saw, proceeded to tell Jesse, he still doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. So then after being completely humiliated by the former head physical therapist for the New York Mets, current trainer of many WWE stars and Antonio Brown, Vince from V Shreds and the Backstreet Boy wannabe crew decided to make up their own stuff about kettlebells, in which case he almost tore his own fucking arm off. A kettlebell cleans, which is going to be down on the ground. You're going to squat down, then you're going to pick this up and pull it up to your shoulder and clean. So you're going to twist it around, pull it up to your shoulder and bring it back down. 
But then after that, it appeared that Vince and the rest of the Jersey Shore West Coast crew uh, decided to play it safe. And, well, they kind of had to for a little while because, you see, Vince knows so fucking little about training that he blew his back up lifting something under 10 pounds by his own words. So for a while, his only, his only videos were talking about what his physical therapist was running him through, like what his physical therapist had worked out for him, because nothing says fitness expert like only being able to do what your physical therapist tells you to do because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And you're in your late 20s, mid to late 20s, and have a blown back and bad knees. Good fucking job. Yeah, people should be taking fitness advice from you, you dumb fuck. Uh, but I try to leave him alone after that because, you know, once he got into his fucking lane, you know, just talking about uh, bananas and peanut butter, you know, snacks and uh, doing sit-ups and shit like that. Once he got into his own fucking lane, I'll leave people the fuck alone. I normally try to talk about people that are only very, very misleading or very dangerous, like Fat acceptance, accepting obesity, very dangerous. People not knowing what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to kettlebell uh, kettlebell cleans, fucking dangerous. You know, talking about ridiculous diets and shit like that, misleading. So I try to fucking leave, you leave, you know, when Vince is just being Vince and sitting there in his fucking corner, same thing as Tyrone. I'll leave them the fuck alone because if they're just fucking minding their business and not giving bad advice or dangerous advice, I couldn't give a fuck less. They're insignificant. However, Vince came out with a video Today, uh, I believe, I'm, I'm making this video the, the, the video the day the video came out, uh, talking about a six-minute HIIT workout to blast fat calories off of you. That's pretty fucking misleading, Vince. I mean, first of all, what the fuck are fat calories? Are, are they the same thing as dry? Do they fall into like the dry and wet muscle category that your buddy Vince Delmott talks about? What the fuck are fat calories? Are, are they different than just calories? Please do fucking explain. Or was that just put into the fucking title to entice people to watch your shit when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about? I would love to hear him elaborate on what a fucking fat calorie is because I'm sure he fucking does not know because I certainly don't know what a fucking fat calorie is compared to a regular calorie. Um, so it would be interesting for me I would love to hear how this six-minute workout, which, by the way, is three exercises done 40, 40 seconds apiece with 20 seconds rest in fucking between, is going to blast calories, blast them, uh, in six minutes, which really is only 240 seconds worth of a, uh, you know, actually, wait, yeah, 240 seconds worth of exercise because you have 20-minute rest in there, so really fucking four minutes uh, of exercise, I want, I want to know how that's going to blast calories to begin with, because you're going to spend the first minute or two actually getting your heart rate up, uh, and uh, how it specifically targets the fucking fat calories. I'd love for Vince to fucking hear that. In fact, as a matter of fact, I invite Vince Sant to do a live interview with me on the In My Opinion Course podcast. Uh, Vince, I would love to speak with you on your dramatic knowledge, on your uh, extensive knowledge on the difference in calories that make it so a six minute hit workout with 20 seconds rest for each minute can just target fat calories versus regular calories, you dumb ass motherfucker. And that's just my two cents of matter. My name is Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. Now on the internet at Every Damn Day Fitness.net. Vince, back in your hole, bitch. Goddamn.